Hi there guys and welcome to the short video having a look at the economic calendar in a bit more detail. This is like one of the most uh, essential um, tools in the trading platform, something that I, I like to utilize a lot and this basically gives you all the major uh, macro economic data from right across the world. Um, you can actually see there that I've got a selection of, uh, of announcements right here um, and I've got some UK and US based announcements. Um, you can see the, um, the, the time and date, uh, the market impact, um, you get low, medium and high the announcement and details of the actual forecast and previous. If I just go to edit for a second, what you'll see there is a whole bunch of different options on, on here. And I've actually got some of these countries turned off. Really does depend on uh, what it is that you're interested on. I tend to like to have a lot of the major ones on there, but depending on your region, some of these will be more important than others. And I tend to turn off the low important uh, market impact events. But again, it depends what you're after yourself. There's also an alert timer here, which will become quite apparent in a second. I usually always have this set to 10 minutes, but you can choose any of these other selections here as well. But anyway, I tend to look at medium and high important level events. And these are the countries that I like to be aware of. Particularly useful regardless of what asset class you're trading because they can impact global markets. So when you've got the announcement on here, for example, if we have a look at the unemployment rate in the UK, you can see there that the actuals come out. There's a forecast that's been um, provided by uh, by Dow Jones Live Newswire in this, in this instance, um, and you also have the previous data as well. And there'll always be an information button attached to the core major updates. If you click on this, um, you'll actually be able to see uh, what it measures, uh, why traders care, the frequency, and who it comes out with. And you can obviously set alerts as well. Now, it's the alert section here that is particularly useful. If I just go ahead here and select this little uh, icon right here, it's going to pop open a box with a countdown clock. Um, that's going to give me a forecast, the previous, and the time left to actual. And when that gets down to, to zero, it's going to say due. And as soon as Dow Jones sends the information through there, it's going to pop up directly on this uh, this tab and inform me what's going on. And this feature is also available on the mobile platform, um, on the iPad, Android, and iPhone. You just have to go ahead and set it on that specific device because it actually sets it via push notification. So um, at this point, you need to set the two of them separately. But it's such a useful, great feature. And what I tend to do is you look at this from a, a daily, a weekly, or monthly standpoint. Uh, so monthly obviously gives you access to a whole, whole bunch uh, more information than you've got weekly. Um, I do tend to look at this on a day-by-day -day basis, um, though you can utilize the calendar function here, select whatever dates that you want, uh, which is equally useful. Today's date today will always be highlighted in blue, so if you get a little bit ahead of yourself, it's very easy to click here uh, and go back to today's date and see exactly what's coming up. Now, I tend to pay most attention to anything that's red impact level. That means it's going to have quite a decent impact on a wide variety of different markets. So usually if it's an American flag, anything that's US dollar denominated like FX pairs or major US indices such as the Dow, uh, sorry, the US 30 or the SPX 500 uh, is something you might want to look at. Conversely, if you're looking at the UK data, something like the UK 100 or GBP USD uh, or any kind of sterling denominated FX pair, that's the type of stuff that, that traders might tend to go ahead and have a look at. Um, but anything on here that's red, I usually set an alert to uh, look at today and then I always fast forward on to the next day. Again, anything that's red that's impacting the products that I'm looking at, and as long as it's got a forecast on here, I'll go ahead and set an alert on there as well. So it makes sure that I don't forget any major announcements as they come out, because this can have a big effect on your current open positions.